How's it going, everybody? Welcome to a brand new episode of Crypto Clout. I am your host, Phase Crypto, and today we will be talking about Bitcoin and making a case for how uh, basically the COVID-19 pandemic will be Bitcoin's uh, inflection point. This is according to Cameron Winklevoss, uh, who is always probably one of the most uh, you know voices for Bitcoin that I think are uh, very interesting. And I think at our time, you know, in our day and age, we'll see the Winklevosses will be uh, some of the, regarded as some of the most uh, forward thinking investors. This article goes on to talk about how, you know, he's obviously the CEO of the Gemini Exchange um, is convinced that uh, the current crisis is going to be um, the inflection point for Bitcoin, the cryptocurrency that is responsible for 64% of the total crypto market cap at the time of making this video. Of course, in June 2019, during the peak of the last year's Bitcoin. The combined fortune, Tyler and Cameron Winklevoss, uh, swooned to 1.5, uh, the 1.45. Um, the 38-year-old twins had had uh, the skin in the game since 2013, when Bitcoin was mostly viewed as magic internet money. Um, of course, uh, definitely uh, in regards to this the relevant topic would be, um, you know, we've got some interesting things, uh, maybe on both sides of the wagon. Obviously, it's no, it's going to be a bumpy ride, uh, you know, getting to where uh, Bitcoin needs to get. But we've got uh, right now, you know, 80 banks. Uh, charge uh, negative interest rates as crisis deepens in Germany, uh, which is sort of a similar case that we've been seeing happening uh, across uh, many different continental, uh, you know, regions. And you know, amid the um, pandemic, the uh, deepening financial crisis, the number charging um, numbers, negative interest rates in Germany has accelerated. At least 80 banks now uh, reportedly charge negative interest rates, uh, 16 of which apply this policy uh, to even small deposits. The Germany banking sector is facing a tough time as the number of uh, you know, cases uh, continues to surge. New data released by the European Central Bank last week shows that banks uh, in the Eurozone were uh, already suffering from declining profitability even before the crisis. Um, yeah, so all these stories, I think, do paint us a picture. I mean, even if in the short term we do see Bitcoin's price um, bump down, I mean, I think that the p the potential for Bitcoin, there's really no um, cap on what Bitcoin could be worth. Just the same way that there's really no bottom to the festering swamp that is fiat currency. Um, so DUX steps into the crypto industry. As its own exchange. Um, this is uh, pretty interesting as well. Uh, large players are hopping back into Bitcoin as analysts eye more blood. So, as Bitcoin attempts to gain a uh, foothold above 7,000, analysts are uh, n noting that data shows large players within the market are currently um, touring back into Bitcoin, uh, which could be a sign that further volatility is imminent in the days and weeks ahead. Traders do seem to believe that the next movement uh, will favor bears as the benchmark cryptocurrency is yet to visit its equal lows as prop, uh, popular cryptocurrency trading platforms, BitMEX, which uh, means a drop that level could be imminent. Um, Bitcoin attempts to able to stabilize over 7,000, which of course we are sort of seeing it, uh, make, you know, trying to be. So, I mean, in the short term, I mean, obviously nobody knows, um, but I mean, still, I mean, printing money is not a solution to failing economies, um, which I think is, you know, well, of course, we do see across the board. Uh, I'm, I think that it would be wise to just hold on to your Bitcoin. But of course, remember, I'm not a financial advisor. I'm not a uh, I'm not here to give you advice. You know, this video is, of course, uh, not advice or anything like that. Um, you know, remember, I'm just a humble YouTuber. And, you know, these videos are merely my opinion. You know, remember, I'm not your dad. Um, but the world's central banks are scrambling to keep their respective economies afloat. And the weapon of choice appears to be the manufacturer of more money. 
money. Bitcoin was born in the fallout of the last financial crisis. Meanwhile, this one is shaping up to be even bigger. So its status as a finite and immutable form of finance and store of value is stronger than ever. Fed to inject another $2.3 trillion. The U.S. Central Bank is planning to pump another $2.3 trillion into the U.S. economy as it ramps up uh, physical stimulus measures. Well, of course, um, you know, countries being ra- the current uh, health crisis that the uh, you know the Federal Reserve will offer up to 500 billion in loans to states and uh, municipalities. Uh, so the purchase of uh, municipal bonds uh, pump about one month out from the Bitcoin having, and the Fed is injecting trillions of dollars into the economy. Satoshi is smiling somewhere. Um, so I mean, you know, overall, I think that the potential. I mean, now I'm going to talk about my perspective i think that the potential for a nine thousand dollar bitcoin um in the short term especially with the halving and all these different things uh, i think that it is uh, you know i mean we see this similar trend of uh you know the the dip in price uh that happening across the board i mean it did happen with the um sort of uh the dow you know the global markets uh, are still sort of struggling to recover so people are the general sentiment is bearish right now it's not um it's mutually exclusive it's uh i think that it's one thing that we need to take into consideration um but of course you know while we see bitcoin and and, and the like continuing to um, push forward I, I'm, I'm still looking forward to seeing how we're going to see, uh, watch how the having and many other aspects of this uh, continue to play out uh, bitcoin price surges to 7200 here's what top traders think is next uh, the bitcoin challenger is suddenly soaring and faster approaching its all-time high price uh, the, the, you know it's kind of interesting as well uh, so we'll start off with this one uh, oh, no, I'm not going to turn off my ad block for Forbes list. You guys already know the deal. Um, not, not, not doing Forbes any favors. Um, but Bitcoin price surges to 7200 Here's what top traders think is next. Um, the sentiment of top traders on the short-term trend of the Bitcoin price remains mixed after BTC surges by more than 5% within less than six hours from 6840 to 7200 Some prominent traders believe that the Bitcoin price could range between 7700 and 7300 uh, grinding upwards to the $8,000 region. Region. Uh, others foresee a steep rejection in the 7,700 and 7,900 region, um, which has been a historically strong area of uh, resistance. But we're not in um, normal times now, are we? Uh, so the majority of top traders are seemingly um, convinced that Bitcoin price is uh, likely to test 7,700 in the near term. The BTC is currently hovering at its uh, yearly open and, and upsurge to 7,700 would allow the uh, dominant cryptocurrency to test the uh, crucial reversal point that triggered the rally to the 10,500 earlier this year um, when Bitcoin portrayed an unclear um, inverse head and shoulders pattern in December 2019. Uh, the $7,700 uh, served as a uh, neckline of the entire uh, formation. At, you know, and Eventually, Bitcoin climbed all the way to 10,500 by February 13th, uh, seeing an extended rally, um, as you can see. So uh, definitely will be interesting uh, to watch uh, as a lot of these different things play out. Uh, personally, I'm of the school of thought. Um, you know, Bitcoin goes as high as eight thousand four hundred to nine thousand, uh, closing the CME gap and a key weekly SMA level. I, th- I think we could easily see um, Bitcoin going as high as uh, nine thousand. Um, that you know within the month um would be my is my um speculation um then you know i I was correct at uh when i I mean i remember people were saying that i'm a lunatic when i was saying that we were going to have a seven thousand dollar bitcoin back when the price was comfortably sitting at ten thousand um people thought that it wasn't possible to happen and then in the same way you know now we're at we're sitting around the seven thousand dollar level um and uh you know, we have to uh, see what happens. And interesting is also uh, no more toilet paper coin on coin market cap. Uh, apparently, they went belly up. Um, but yeah, all that being said, you know, I uh, hope you guys are all healthy and having a good day. 
Um, you know, of course, uh, we're all just sort of powering through, you know, those of us who are fortunate enough to be able to work from home, um, do have our own, um, things to worry about much the same way everybody's sort of just dealing with uh, these different things uh, the best way that they can Um, but all that being said uh, you know hope you guys are having a good day Uh, remember to comment down below letting us know what you think and um, then we will be doing a live stream with more uh, technical analysis uh, looking into the future of bitcoin uh, always and remember to subscribe comment down below and i'll see you guys next video have a good one